Hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle Emerson and I'm a fourth grade teacher in Maryland. If you have been following me for pretty much any length of time, then you most likely know that I am very passionate about organization. But looking back on my journey as a teacher, my organization has come a very far way since when I got my first classroom. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the four best organizational decisions I have made in my classroom. I do wanna start by thanking Lakeshore Learning for sponsoring this video. I have been working with Lakeshore for three years now. I've been using their products since I was a student teacher in college. I love that their products are actually created by former teachers, so they're exactly what teachers want, and they're extremely durable, so you get your money's worth. I also have a coupon code for you all. You can use code 6974 to save 25% on any single non-sale item, that code can be used in stores or online. All the details will be down in the description box, so make sure you check it out. We are gonna jump into the four best organizational decisions I have made in my classroom, starting with number one, using clear containers. When I started organizing my cabinets in my first classroom, I used a lot of containers that were not see-through. They were a lot of colorful ones, I had some black ones, and while it was great for making my cabinets look uniform, they were not the most efficient. But switching over to clear storage containers has been a total game changer for my classroom. I really love these Clearview storage boxes from Lakeshore Learning because they are very durable, they're a thick plastic, and they even have lids, which we're gonna come back to later in the video and talk about why that's important. If you are interested in grabbing these, I will link them for you down in the description box. Here's what I love about using clear storage boxes. First of all, it's going to allow you to see when you are running low on supplies. If you store glue sticks, markers, crayons, all of those replenishable supplies in a clear storage box in your cabinet, it's going to be very easy to see which supplies you have a surplus of and which supplies you need to stock up on. I know personally, I love to take inventory about twice throughout the year, once in the middle of the year around this time, and then again right before summer so that I can stock up when there's all those great deals on school supplies. Another reason I love using clear storage containers is because it makes it easy for my students to see what's inside. Now when it comes to supplies, I don't typically let my students run rampant on my cabinets, that would be a huge mistake, but I do have one or two students who are my teacher's assistants or teacher help and I will ask them to go grab a glue stick, for example, from my cabinet. Having a clear storage container makes it very easy for them to locate the correct container. In addition to just storing supplies in these, you could also use them to hold manipulatives. When it comes to storing manipulatives for students, I do like to have them in open containers without the lid, but you can still use these same Clearview storage boxes just without the lid, store manipulatives, and then it's super easy for students to find the right thing. Yet another reason why I love the clear storage containers is because it prevents you from junking them up. Look, we all secretly have a junk drawer in our classroom, no shame, judgment-free zone, but you do not want every container or every cabinet or every drawer to become a junk drawer. I feel like when you have containers that you can't see through, you're a lot more likely to stuff them full of things that truly don't belong in there. But by using clear storage containers, you're going to force yourself to keep them nice and organized. And the final reason that I love using clear storage containers is because they go with any theme. I know a lot of teachers who every few years or so, they like to change up their theme. Either there's something new that's trendy or maybe their taste has changed and they want to have a new theme for their classroom. Well, if all of your containers were colored and fit your old theme, you're gonna have to get new containers if you decide to change your theme, which is not cost effective for anyone. So by using clear storage containers, they are going to go with any theme and you can easily just change out the label on them in order to fit your new theme. The second best organizational decision I have made in my classroom is investing in durable and or washable containers and bins. When I first started teaching, the dollar store was my best friend. And honestly, it's because I didn't have a lot of money to put towards storage containers. 
but I probably spent somewhere between 50 and $100 on containers from the dollar store my first year. And I would say only about 20% of them ended up lasting. So I wasted a lot of money on containers that ended up breaking. Instead, I could have taken that same amount of money and invested in more durable containers. Sure, I wouldn't have gotten as many, but my money would have actually been invested in something that was going to last. When I have invested in durable containers, they have lasted me years. And these are containers that are constantly getting picked up, moved around, they got moved across the state, and they are still lasting. Honestly, every container I have ever gotten from Lakeshore Learning falls in this category. Like I said before, their materials are extremely durable. Now we're gonna come back to these later on in the video, but for example, the neon book bins from Lakeshore Learning have held up for years in my classroom. They're super thick plastic and they're very easy to clean. You can actually take a magic eraser and just wipe off any marks that get on them throughout the year. Now one of my more recent discoveries with Lakeshore Learning are these dishwasher safe, we're gonna come back to that in a second, plastic baskets. They have them in this natural color and I think also in a darker brown color as well. But did you hear me say dishwasher safe? You can literally take these baskets and put them in your dishwasher. How's that even possible? I am all about saving time and I do not have the time to individually clean every single bin in my classroom at the end of the year. So I love that I can take these home, throw them in the dishwasher and have them looking brand new. Also, I love that they look like a basket, but they're actually made out of plastic, which means they're going to be a lot more durable throughout the year. You can use them to store books. You can use them to store manipulatives because as I already mentioned, you know, they're open, easy for students to get things in and out of. And they come in three different sizes. There is a small, medium, and large. I have some of the medium baskets, which secret, they actually fit in those Ikea units. You know, the, the cube ones, they fit perfectly in those. <laughs> or if you have other like cube type shelves in your classroom, I would be willing to bet that these would fit in there. They also have a large size, which I love to use to store different flexible seating options in my classroom, especially some of the cushions. Again, getting durable containers is an investment. You're going to spend more than you would at the dollar store. But personally, I would rather buy a container once that I can use for the next 10 years without worrying about it breaking versus buying the same containers over and over and over again because they keep getting cracked or they keep breaking. The third best organizational decision I have made in my classroom is using color coding. Now let's come back to these neon connect and store book bins from Lakeshore Learning. I love the colors on these. They're super bright and vibrant. And what I love about their neon line is they have the exact same colors for multiple different containers and bins. They have paper trays that match. They have other storage containers that match. They have caddies that match. So you can color code your classroom and it's the same colors for all of them. I used to go to Dollar Tree and I would find colors of bins that I really loved. And then next summer when, again, I needed to replace them because they were not super high quality, that color was no longer there. They had replaced it with a similar color that was not exactly the same and that drove me crazy. So I love being able to get colored sets from Lakeshore Learning that I know are always gonna be there and I can get them in multiple different kinds of bins. Now there are a few different ways that I utilize color coding in my classroom. One way is actually with my student groups. I will have up to six different groups in my classroom at one time and I will assign each group a color. I already mentioned that Lakeshore Learning does have the supply bins or the caddies. You are able to have a different color caddy for each group. Then the materials that go inside of that caddy can match that color. You all know I love those little plastic boxes or like snack boxes that will hold a entire 24 box of crayons. I will have those match the color of the caddy. So if I happen to find a box of crayons somewhere around the room, I know exactly what group I need to return them to. I also love using those little face scrubbers from the dollar store as erasers for whiteboards. And again, I will match the color of those to the color of the caddy. You also can use those connect and store book bins in order to help hold notebooks or folders for each group. And again, the color of the bin would match the color of the caddy, which matches the color of the group. 
Now, in addition to your students, you can also use color coding for yourself. I'm departmentalized, so I actually teach multiple groups of students. I assign a different color to each class of students, and that color will be used for their paper turn-in bin. So when they have papers to turn in, they have to put it in the correct color bin. Then when I take the papers out, I will have a binder clip that matches that color of bin. And on my desk, I will have a container that is again, the same color where I will store any materials that I need for that class. Now, if you're not departmentalized, you could do this by subject area. So you could have math be one color, reading be another, writing be another, science, social studies, so on and so forth. So each subject area can have its own color. Again, the turn and bin, the bin that you have on your desk where you store the materials, the binder clip where you're gonna clip the papers, all of those can color coordinate. Now, in addition to the neon bins, Lakeshore Learning does also have a set of primary colored bins. So check out their website, I'm sure you can find a set of bins in the color that fits your preferences. Finally, the fourth best organizational decision I have made in my classroom is maximizing my space. A lot of you know that I used to teach second grade in another part of Maryland. And when I moved, not only did my classroom get smaller, but my class size almost double from what I was used to. And that suddenly meant I did not have as much space in my classroom as what I was used to. And I needed to get really good at maximizing the space I did have. If you have a small classroom, or even if you don't, you can benefit from trying to use every square inch of your classroom so that you can make the most of your space. Let's come back to these Clearview storage boxes from Lakeshore Learning. I already mentioned that they have a lid. I love containers that have lids because it allows you to stack them one on top of the other, which in turn means you can maximize the space. I love to be able to stack containers inside of cabinets so that I'm using the entire height of the cabinet instead of wasting space on top of a bin. But what's important to remember when you are stacking bins, whichever bin you're going to use the least often is the one you wanna keep on the bottom so that it's easier to get your materials in and out. Another way I love to maximize the space in my classroom is by using magnetic bookshelves. Lakeshore Learning has a set that I absolutely love. Not only can you use it as a bookshelf, you can you know display read aloud books, but you can also use it to store other things. I would always keep one on my front whiteboard and I would keep my extra schedule cards in there so that each day when I was setting up my board, I could easily grab them from that magnetic bookshelf and put them up. As I mentioned, you have to get creative. I remember moving to fourth grade, I suddenly had all of these yardsticks and meter sticks that I was not used to storing, and I ended up going to the hardware store, getting a three inch diameter PVC pipe, having it cut to be about two feet high, and that's where I stored all of my yardsticks and meter sticks. So get creative with how you're using the space and try to find some type of solution in order to store all of your things. Now, if you saw any of the products in this video and you want to get them for yourself, don't forget, use code 6974 to save 25% on any single non-sale item. Again, that coupon code can be used in stores or online, and all of the details will be down in the description box. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up, share it out with your teacher friends, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.